As we head into spring, Central Florida also enters another season, our severe weather season. First warning, meteorologist Eric Burris has more on today's statewide tornado drill. Sites like this don't happen often in Central Florida, but during February, March and April, when conditions are just right, we can see powerful long track tornadoes. That's why every February leaders hold a severe weather awareness week and in conjunction hold a statewide tornado drill. Today was the drill, an important reminder to stop and think, what would you do? You want to have a strong communications plan with your family, with your co-workers, the people that you're with every day to make sure that you guys are prepared to, in a moment's notice, enact a plan uh, that best suits your family, your place of business, getting to the safest room possible in those locations. In 2007 and back in 1998, tornadoes claimed more than 60 lives in our area. The goal of days like this is to know what to do in these events and, of course, to stay dialed in to keep yourself updated. First, remember the different advisories. A tornado watch lets you know conditions are possible for severe weather. A tornado warning means we've either spotted one on the ground or see one developing on radar. And a tornado emergency, a new term, means there's a confirmed dangerous tornado heading toward a high population center. In each case, you need need to stay weather aware, so be sure to download the WESH 2 News mobile app and be sure to turn on notifications. The app will warn you when storms approach your neighborhood and when severe weather threatens you. Eric Burris, WESH 2 News.